by far best known for providing Ukraine with Bayraktar TB2 UAVs, Turkey has provided a plethora of weapons ranging from artillery shells to APCs. The Turkish arms industry has provided heavy machine guns, with Canik's M2 QCB being seen on a number of occasions in recent months. The M2 Browning is fast becoming ubiquitous in Ukraine, provided in large numbers by a number of different nations. The heavy machine guns equip large numbers of armoured vehicles and have also been seen in use in the ground roll fairly regularly. Canik introduced the M2 QCB in August 2022 unveiling an M2 and an M3 pattern version of the weapon, the M2F. Back in April, Ukraine received a shipment of dual-mounted M2F guns, which were seen mounted on Nissan pickup trucks. These guns were seen in a photograph of President Zelensky inspecting new equipment for Ukraine's border guard service. It's unknown how many M2Fs have been delivered, but they were reportedly procured to combat small drones. Turkish-made M2s are also likely mounted on the significant number of armoured personnel carriers which Turkey has provided to Ukraine, including the 4x4 BMC Kirpi. The Kirpi can be mounted with either a GPMG or an M2. They're most often seen in theatre mounted with M2s. Over 200 of the Kirpi have been ordered and batches have been delivered since August 2022. On the 20th of July, weapons researcher Warnoir shared photographs of a suspected M2 QCB showing the gun in a carry case and set up at the range. Most recently, on the 3rd of August, Wagner PMC shared a video of a captured Turkish-made M2 on one of their Telegram channels. The video clearly shows Canik receiver markings. This M2 QCB 12mm manufacturing by Canik, made in Turkey. Being largely identical to other M2 pattern heavy machine guns, it's difficult to ID the Turkish made guns from much of the imagery shared from Ukraine. As a result, it's difficult to gauge just how many are in theatre. At the same time, another fairly uncommon Turkish made weapon has also been confirmed to be in use in Ukraine, with at least one RDS 40 rotary 40mm grenade launcher seen with Ukrainian forces. Manufactured by Repcon Defense, the RDS-40 has a very recognisable pistol grip assembly with a guard which encloses the entire hand. It's unknown how many RDS-40s are in Ukraine with no further sightings made at the time of writing. If you spot any, let me know. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this interesting. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. As always, if you want to support the channel via Patreon, that is very much appreciated. And there are perks available to say thank you for your support, including early access to all of our videos. Thanks again for watching, catch you next time.